Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to calculate so as we can identify the outliers in our data set. Up until now, we've always relied on Desmos to show us our outliers. We've input a set of data values, we've created a box plot, and we can select this exclude outliers as a part of our uh, options for graphing our box plot. When we include them, then we get our five number summary of min, quartile one, median, quartile three, and the max. However, if we choose to exclude the outliers, then uh, it's going to take those outliers out of our data set. Well, today we are gonna learn how to calculate this boundary line here in our data set so that we know exactly uh, which numbers or data values are outliers in our data set. So turn to your notes. There is a page that we skipped over, and that page starts off um, by saying identifying outliers. So the calculation to identify outliers goes like this. We are going to first find the interquartile range. That's the IQR. Remember that is Q3 minus Q1. Then we are going to take one and a half times that value. So we're going to say one and a half times the IQR. Now to find the upper bound, we are going to take Q3 plus this one and a half times our IQR. Okay, and we are going to add that value, right? Uh, or I'm sorry, we're going to say Q3 plus one and a half times that IQR. And then that's going to give us this upper bound. And anything outside or greater than that value is going to be considered an outlier. On the lower bound or the lower end, we are going to take Q1 and we are going to subtract from it 1.5 times that value of the IQR. All right, and that is going to give us this lower bound and anything to the left of or less than that is going to be considered an outlier. So let's take a look at this example. And this is the example that I've calculated into Desmos. Okay, a manager makes a list to show the batting averages for the baseball players on the team. All right, we've got uh, all these points here. And we're going to let Desmos do the heavy work for us. We put it in there. We've got our box plot. And uh, we are going to include our outliers for right now. And so uh, we got our minimum. Our minimum value is going to be 0.174. Uh, when we calculate our quartile 1, that's going to give us 0.262. Our median batting average is 0.285. Quartile 3 is 0.318. And then our maximum, or our best batting average, is 0.406. All right, so we've got uh, these data points plotted down here on our box and whiskers plot. Uh, this is including the outliers. However, we want to make sure we can identify exactly what those outliers are. So we're going to start off by finding our IQR. Remember that's Q3 minus Q1. So that's going to be 0.318 minus 0.262. Uh, when we do that calculation, we are going to get 0 0.056. All right, so there's our IQR. Now we are going to do one and a half times that. So let's do 1.5 times our 0 0.056. Uh, and that's going to result in 0 0.084. All right, so here's the number we are going to add to quartile three and subtract from quartile one. Okay, so in other words, here's quartile three on our box and whiskers plots. Uh, I'm going to add to that value 0 0.084. And that's gonna give me this upper bound and anything to the right of that is going to be considered an outlier. Likewise, I'm going to take the value of Q sub 1 and I'm going to subtract that 0 0.084 from it. And anything to the left of that is going to be considered an outlier. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We've got Q3, which is 0.318. We're going to add to that 0 0.084. And that is going to give me uh, 0.4. Zero, 0.02. Okay, so anything outside of that 0 0.402, which is going to be about right here, uh, is going to be considered an outlier. And we know we have a data point of 
0.406. That was our maximum one. So here's our outlier on the upper end. Let's see if we have an outlier on the lower end. We're going to take Q1, which we said was 0.262, and we're going to subtract from that 0 0.084. And that is going to give us 0.178. All right, so likewise, on the lower end, we know our minimum value was 0.174, and that too is going to be an outlier. So we've calculated our boundary line and identified any data values outside of those boundaries uh, as outliers. So that's how you calculate outliers from a data set. Now, just to confirm that those indeed are outliers, let's go back to our box and whiskers plot, and we are going to exclude our outliers and you can see here that when we tap on those dots out there, that is 0.174, an outlier, and then 0.406. All right, and that wraps up our video for today.